Today on Little Sparks, a subscriber request. How to prep the anthill in order to pour the aluminum into it and make one of my anthill castings. Let's see how this all works. This is the anthill I'm going to go for today. It's been really rainy lately, so you can see that the, all the normal entrances are filled in. Everything collapsed, and it looks to be like no one's home. But I'm sure I'll stir them up. Okay, so first thing, i got a little shovel, and I'm just going to, without disturbing it as much as possible, I'm going to take the top off. Now this is actually doing two things for me. One, it's creating an area for me to pour the aluminum into. And two, it's gonna give me a nice flat top for the aluminum. So when I take it out and flip it over, it has a nice base to sit on. And I'm trying to not disturb the tunnels as much as possible. Let's see what we got. Now you can see down in there, there's several access holes to the tubes contained within, and that'll make a nice flat surface for the mold to sit on when it's done. And as far as prepping the anthill goes, that's it. Anthill's prepped and ready. Time to melt some metal. So that's all there is to it to set up an anthill for casting. If you want to see how this one came out, check out my third anthill casting video and you can see the results. Thanks for watching.